What's up guys, A's Raiders Dub Sharks here. In the past couple of months, I've gotten so much new merchandise. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I have acquired. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, I was at the A's game today and there was a stadium giveaway, which was this Ride the Wave Oakland A's t-shirt. So basically for those of you that don't know, the A's kind of adopted this slogan um, at the beginning of the season, Ride the Wave. And it was just kind of a way to express you know, the fun they have when they play, you know, they're riding the wave through wins and victories. So they put it on a t-shirt and it's not my favorite shirt. It's kind of, you know, it looks like a little bit of a lazy design, but it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it kind of has that interesting font, ride the wave. And then it says Oakland Athletics 2021. So pretty cool shirt. You know, it was free, so I'll definitely take it. Um, but that's all it is, ride the wave and um, yeah on a white shirt, so yeah. Alrighty guys, I have an item, got this package today, so let's open this thing up and see what it is. So what I have here is a new era San Jose Sharks hat. So there's, it is in the plastic, let's open this up. So this is a new era Sharks stealth mode hat. And I really, really love the stealth mode. The, for those of you that don't know, the stealth is the third jersey. So this really goes with that. It's kind of the monochromatic look, new era cap, snapback. Uh, I really like this. I like the logo, how it pops out. Yeah, you see that it's just all bright teal and black and you got the orange hint of it there. So that's really, really cool. I just love this design. There you go, San Jose Sharks hat. So I got a new era snapback Warriors 2018 finals champions hat. So obviously I'm wearing a 2018 finals hat. I'm kind of been lately collecting a lot of Warriors championship memorabilia because when they won, I didn't really have money. Um, but now like I am more prosperous. So I have a source of income that I can spend on this merchandise and kind of recollect all the stuff I wasn't able to get. Um, so there you go. You got the 2018 champions kind of like glossy, shiny trophy there. Um, it's kind of like a trucker hat. Uh, it was a pretty good price uh, because it was a couple years ago, but I like that kind of cool kind of graffiti font 2018 and obviously I'm wearing this one, like I said, pretty cool. If you ask me, I like that a lot, um, you know, very, you know, bright and vibrant and very cool. So yeah, that's it. All right. I picked up an awesome cap from my local lids today here. I got this cool Oakland A's gray and yellow hat. Um, with the 50th anniversary patch on the side. This hat was pretty expensive, but I thought I would spend the money because, you know, it's really cool. $44 before tax and everything. But, you know, look at that. Just the color, the yellow really pops out. It's a fitted hat, so you got that patch on the side. You got the Batterman logo. Um, but I just really like the color combo. I think this is gonna look really good with jerseys and just looks really nice in the light. It's a new era fitted cap, like I said. Um, it, it's just really cool. I, I like the 50th anniversary patch because, um, you know, that was a really big year for the A's, obviously their first, um, postseason appearance in like four years. So pretty nice. Um, but I really like this hat and it's just really cool. Love the combo. You got the green under brim and yeah, there you go. Really awesome A's fitted cap. All right, guys, I went to a sports store in my mall today and I got a really cool A's shirt. So. Here it is, a A's Rudin and Oakland uh, Nike t-shirt. I've actually seen this shirt at the Oakland Coliseum before, but obviously, you know, buying shirts and whatnot at stadiums is gonna be a lot more expensive. Um, so it got a, you know, pretty good deal on it. Uh, Rudin in Oakland has been, you know, one of our slogans for the past couple of years. Um, and, you know, I really hope, I'm crossing my fingers, they don't move to Las Vegas, but, you know, this will always be a part of Oakland history, just the Rooted in Oakland slogan. And I really like this shirt. I love the font, obviously, because it's that cool cursive font the A's use on their jerseys. Um, and the gray is really nice. I think it just pops out well. Obviously Nike, so really good quality. Just like it in general, it's really cool. Um, rooted in Oakland, I just it has a nice ring to it, I think. So there you go, really cool Nike rooted in Oakland, Oakland A's t-shirt. So let's move on. All right guys, so I got another hat. I got it at a local sports store in the mall. This is a Warriors finals hat from every year they won the finals, starting in the 40s and you know coming to the dynasty era uh, when they won it. And I really like the sleek design. I mean, it's really cool and simple. Having that logo in the middle, having all the championship uh, years they won in, and I mean, that just looks really cool. 
uh, NBA Finals champions. I just, I really love the design. And I, I really lately I've been into the Warriors championship merch because I'm reminiscing on the fact that my team was a dynasty. I think that's so cool to say. And there you go, all the champions, um, you know, it's just so cool. It's a new era snapback. It's a trucker style hat. So obviously, you know, the type of hat I like personally, um, really cool. I mean, I love that logo in the middle. The fact that the NBA Finals champions kind of brings it all together. And I just love the sleek design. It's really, really cool. Um, you know, love the fact that I can represent all the years they won it on one hat. So anyways, guys, yeah. All right, guys, I just went to my doorstep and I saw this package. I spent pretty good money on this item I got from eBay. So let's look at what it is. So I got a pretty cool baseball style Warriors throwback jersey. Wow, this is a nice one. It's a Mitchell and Ness jersey. Um, so look at that. I mean, you got the lightning bolts on the shoulders. You got that old We Believe era jersey. And, you know, it looks just really nice. Um, the seller also gave me a Warriors beanie. So that's really nice. Um, Mitchell and Ness as well. Um, it was kind of like a combo kind of thing. Um, so, you know, really cool beanie uh, with the Warriors logo and everything like that. Really nice. Um, but this jersey is really, really nice. Um, so, you know, you can see that. I love the colorway. You have the cool, you know, kind of blue, orange, yellow, teal colorway with the red accents. And I really love that. Let's go ahead and try this on. All right, as you can see, I got the jersey here. So I got that really cool logo with this. It just really catches the eye. It's Mitchell and Ness. So of course, great quality. One of my favorite brands for jerseys. And really, really nice jersey in general. Love that navy blue colorway. It'll go good with all the Warriors merchandise I have. And I just love that. Looks really nice. And then of course, I got this really cool throwback beanie. Um, so yeah, there you go. Warriors beanie and throwback style, we believe, baseball cut jersey. So really, really cool. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, just got home and found a package waiting for me. I know what this is. It's a hat. So let's get into this. Got this from eBay. Uh, it actually came pretty quickly because the seller was local. Um, so yeah, let's see what it is. All right. So what I have here is a Warriors 2017 Champions New Era snapback cap. Here it is. So I really, really like the design of this hat. You have the 2017 champs in nice gold writing with the little um, trophy in the trolley car for San Francisco. Um, and the main reason I wanted this hat is, I'll put up a picture. So when the Warriors won the 2017 championship, the hats were rather boring. They didn't even say 2017 on the front. Uh, it's the, it said 2017 on the back. It was just kind of a boring hat with a very small logo. Of course I got it because it was the on-court celebration cap, but I like this one better. Uh, I just feel like it, you know, is more to the point. 2017 champs, you got the trolley, you got, you know, just the new era style is a lot better and Adidas was the supplier when they won it. So I think this is kind of, you know, unique in the sense that it's new era. Um, but yeah, I really like that. Got the trolley, got the NBA champs 2017. And yeah, pretty simple, nice design. And I think it looks really good. So yeah, there you go. Warriors championship hat 2017. Alrighty guys, so I have some hats I got recently. Let's show them. So recently I got this Oakland A's trucker style hat. Pretty cool design. You got the white front with the green trucker design, the green brim. The logo is pretty cool. So you got this kind of cool diamond shaped Oakland Athletics 1968 with that cool vintage looking elephant logo. And I really like this. I think it really pops out. And I just love that logo overall. You know, it has the date, it has a really cool logo and Oakland Athletics script. So that's the first hat. Now this next one is an American Needle Oakland Athletics script hat with the word mark. Um, I really like this. It's white, so it's definitely, you know, pretty eye-catching. And you have the green font, which I really like with the yellow outline. It's an American Needle hat, so pretty good quality. I like their hats. Um, definitely a good one. Um, and yeah, there you go. Nice, cool font, and it really sticks out. Now, this next one is a Warriors hat. This is a Warriors hat pretty clearly from the We Believe era. You got the Warriors script in that cool kind of yellow and orange slash red font um, in that We Believe color scheme. You got that cool Thunderbolt logo with the mascot on the back. And I just like this. It's a strap back hat. It's NBA branded, and it's actually American Needle um, designed it as well. So it's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, and that'll go good with my We Believe jerseys. Now, this next one is an Oakland Raiders hat. Uh, this is a Raiders hat in which I actually have the gray version of this. 
but this is a black one and it's really cool Oakland Raiders um, AFL 1960 like I said I have back in 2020 I got the gray one and it's basically the opposite of this but this one is really cool I like that it says Oakland it has that cool 1960s logo so I really like this one is a Mitchell and Ness cap so definitely one of my favorite brands for hats and I really really like the design of this and I think it'll go well in my collection this last one is pretty unique. This is a Mark McGuire 62 home runs record hat. Um, obviously, you know, this is a St. Louis Cardinals design hat, obviously, but Mark McGuire obviously, you know, played for the A's for a pretty good amount of time, won the World Series with the A's. Um, and this one, when he was using steroids, but still really cool. I mean, I like the design of this. Um, you know, St. Louis Cardinals logo on the side right there, Mark McGuire. It's a new vintage new era cap, um, I assume from the 90s. And you know, this is just a nice hat. I like it. So yeah, overall in this set, I have five hats. I'll go over them one more time. And I got you know, all these and really just nice hats. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, I went to the A's game today and I thought I'd show a couple things I got from it. Um, so I got this A's shirt. I showed this in the vlog, um, but this is an A's shirt. I got, it was only 15 bucks and it's long sleeve. It has a swinging A's logo. I like the long sleeve look to it and the gray. So that's pretty cool. And I like that kind of cool baseball design shirt. And then I also got, this is part of the stadium giveaway, which ultimately was a tote bag, but they had, this was inside the tote bag. It was in this and it was a earthquakes and A's pennant. It's pretty big. But um, as you can see, it's got both logos, kind of just showing that they're unified. And yeah, anyways, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. All right, guys, I just got home from a pretty eventful day with the boys. I went down to San Jose, you know, that went on a tour. It was really fun. You know, it wasn't the longest tour, but it was pretty fun. Got to see some stuff I've never seen before. And now I think I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I got in San Jose. I uh, got some pretty cool stuff. So the first thing, this was free an authentic fan card, um, which has Logan Couture on it. They usually hand these out at games for free, but they had some leftover ones, so these were free. Um, I like the detail on that, Logan Couture, and it has authentic fan on the back. I have authentic fan cards all behind me, so I'm probably gonna hang this one up with it. I think it's really cool. I, it's based on the stealth design, um, and it's really cool. I like that. Definitely a lot of cool detail on that Logan Couture artwork, and I, I like that a lot. So that was the first thing. Now, I went to the SAP Center team store and I got some cool stuff there. So first thing, this hat's pretty unique. It's a San Jose Sharks kind of cool alternate weird logo um, with, you know, kind of a interesting looking shark, a crazy looking shark. On the back, it says San Jose Sharks. It's white. Uh, this was $30. I got this at the team store, obviously. Thought it was pretty cool and I like the build of it. And as you can see, just that cool, crazy logo with that shark biting the stick. I thought I can't pass up on that. So I got that. Now, next was another hat. This hat is a hat I've actually been wanting for a long time. It's the fin logo that the sharks kind of wore in the 90s on their shoulder patch. It's a new era snapback. I love this like design and logo. So there you go. Really, really cool. Um, I love that. And I mean, I just love the detail. On the back, you have the San Jose Sharks script. Um, but I think this is just really cool. It'll go really well with jerseys. And I love that logo. Just a, such a clean look. The final thing is actually a sweatshirt. It's Mitchell and Ness, which is one of my favorite brands of, you know, sports memorabilia. It's kind of like a crew neck sweatshirt. 30th anniversary, um, which was obviously last season, but I thought I'd try to get as much merchandise for it as possible. You have San Jose Sharks on the sleeve. It was $65, so I kind of splurged a little bit on it. But I mean, that's a great design. You know, it looks really good. It's vintage looking and, you know, I'll look back on this and say, wow, the sharks were 30 years old when I bought this. Um, so yeah, I love that. And yeah, so those were the things I got. All right, guys, I got another package. So let's open this thing up. This was a hat I've actually been looking for for a long time. So let's open this thing up. All right. What I got here is a Raiders draft cap from, I think it was either 2013 or 2012. And I really like this because it says Oakland front and center. It's got the Raiders logo. I mean, I think any Raider hat that says Oakland, I like, but I've been looking for this one for a while because it really is bold. It was a draft cap. Uh, every team had a hat like this for the re respective city and the Raiders being in Oakland then had this. 
I love this. This is a great hat. The AFC logo under the brim. You got the NFL logo. Solid hat. I like it a lot. And that's really cool. Awesome. All right, guys. So today I went to Ross, a store that sometimes has good discount merchandise. And I found something pretty cool. So I got this really cool Oakland baseball shirt um, with some A's players on it, which is cool. So you got Andres, Piscotti, Lazardo. Chapman and Olsen. So all these players except for Lazardo are still in the A's. I mean, it's kind of funny because Lazardo was just traded, uh, you know, just about a week and a half ago. So, you know, it's pretty cool though. I mean, I like the design of it. You know, it's, it's very, you know, front and center. You can really see all the detail. And I love the fact that all the players are there. Um, some notable ones. I mean, that's a cool shirt. And I mean, for the price it was, it, it was great. Like I said, I mean, Ross sometimes has you know good discount things and this is an example of one um i like the city skyline underneath the players the signatures um that are printed on oakland baseball it's just a clean look and i think you know it'll be a really nice addition to my collection so anyways guys there you go oakland baseball t-shirt and uh yeah all right guys i just got back from the oakland coliseum saw an amazing victory over the san francisco giants but i thought i would show the merchandise i got Got some pretty cool stuff that I've had my eye on. So anyways, guys, let's look at this. So first thing is a hoodie sweatshirt type thing. Ride the wave. I love that slogan, Oakland Athletics. It's Kelly Green with the elephant on the surfboard. I just think it's it's cool. You know, I, I think it'll go well with my stuff. I have a t-shirt that says ride the wave. It's like our new adopted slogan for this year. Um, so there you go. Oakland A's, ride the wave. I like it a lot. Um, it was $65. I mean, that's typical for a hoodie. So, yep, there you go. There's the logo. And um, yeah, that's the first thing. I got two things. Um, the second thing is also really cool. So let's take a look at this. So basically, I got an A shirt. It says the town. Um, it's a Nike shirt. It says Oakland, California, the town. But the A's logo in the Oakland City skyline. I mean, I couldn't pass up on this. It's awesome. I have multiple hats that say the town too for the Warriors. And I think this will go great with them. Um, you know, it's a great nickname for our city and, you know, just a really cool design. So yeah, those are the two things, the Ride the Wave sweatshirt and the town black t-shirt. All right, guys. So a couple of days ago, I was driving around and I went to a mall I don't usually go to. And I came across this store that has the craziest hat selection I've ever seen. They have to have at least a thousand hats in there for sale. And of course, I was going to buy something. I spent a lot of time in there. So I got a, a few hats. Um, and I think all of them are cool, so let's look into this. So the first is a blue and yellow Warriors colorway Oakland A's hat. So I actually have, um, I don't know if you guys can see, I have one kind of like this, but it isn't a 5950 fitted. It's kind of like a, you know, a lower crown version. So I, I'm, I like this one a lot better. Um, and I thought this one's a little bit harder to find as well. Got the black underbrim. Uh, this hat was 40 bucks. Um, so, you know, a decent price. You got the Batterman logo. And I mean, it's great. It's the Warriors colorway with the A's hat. I mean, that's awesome, I think. You can wear it with either jersey, uh, A's or Warriors. And yeah, look at that. The logo is also outlined in white. So, you know, that's pretty cool. It makes it easy to see. Now the next two hats are similar. So the first one is a Oakland Raiders Super Bowl cap. And so it has all three Super Bowls they've ever won. Um, you look at the sides, so you got Super Bowl 11 on the side, you got Super Bowl 15, and then was that Super Bowl uh, 18 on the front there as well, uh, along with the Raiders primary logo. And on the back, I like this, three times Super Bowl champs. This hat was pricey, uh, it was $45. Um, you know, with the patches, it makes sense. Um, so there you go, cool Oakland Raider cap. Uh, two of these Super Bowls were uh, Oakland, and uh, one of them was in LA as well. Um, so that's cool and you know, definitely want to add in my collection. Now I did say the next, uh, these two were similar and that is correct. This is an Oakland A's version of the Raiders one. This one um, on the back has nine times World Series champs. It would be pretty hard to put nine patches on here. So it only has the four in Oakland. Um, so you start out here on the side with 1972, 1973, 1974, the three in the 70s and then the Battle of the Bay A's Giants 1989. Um, with the A's primary logo. Um, this one was also the same price as the Raiders one. So you can see kind of how similar these ones are. And the back is essentially the same with the cursive design with um, the Super Bowl champs script. Um, 
but I really like these. All three of them, I think, were cool. And they're hard to find. I mean, these aren't hats you're gonna find at your typical lids. These are custom made, really cool hats. Um, so there you go, one, two, and three. Spent some good money there. It was a great store. So anyways, guys, there you go. All right, guys, so a couple days ago, I decided to order my first soccer jersey. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm not really a soccer fan. I watch it here and there. I make videos on the Earthquakes and Roots, the two local uh, teams. But, you know, I decided it would be cool to get merchandise. So in this package, I have my first soccer jersey. And there's also something else in here that I'll talk about. But let's open this thing up. So, yeah. All right, so right here is the jersey. It's pretty cool. Um, so this is, I believe, uh, the away jersey for the Earthquakes. I don't think they wear this one anymore, but it, they used to have this away jersey. Um, it was a good price, so I saw the opportunity. You know, I probably wouldn't buy a soccer jersey on a regular basis, but because I'm not a huge fan of the sponsor, you know, I don't like having a big sponsor on your jersey. But I mean, I saw the opportunity and saw a good price, so I decided to get it. I like the logo, um, the Earthquakes. Um, and you know, kind of has that cool neckline in there. Um, it's Adidas, like I said, you got the MLS uh, Major League Soccer little shield right there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it. Uh, it's definitely something, you know, I'll wear. Um, and I, I like the, the contrast between the blue and red. I like that a lot. And it was, you know, a good deal, like I said. So that's cool. There was also something else in here. Uh, it was a bundle. So anyways, it came with a San Jose Earthquakes cap. Um, so there you go. It's a red one. Um, and, you know, it's pretty cool. I like that. It would go with the jersey well because they both kind of have that red on it. Um, and yeah, I like that. It's simple. I don't have a hat for the earthquakes at all. So I like that for sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, do you guys like this jersey and hat combo? I think I do. It's pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, look at that. Earthquakes merchandise. And so now I actually have some. And maybe if I go to a game sometime, I've been to a Roots game before, maybe I can wear it there.